Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I want to tell you guys about my 2019 GTA Online wish list. What I think Rockstar should add to the game this year. I think a lot of people thought 2018 and GTA Online was kind of a down year. We got some awesome stuff, don't get me wrong, but it was definitely not as big as previous years, and I think that was due to Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out. I mean, they were releasing a totally new game that was relatively big, and obviously that's going to take some time compared to the DLCs in GTA. But I think in 2019, they may get back on a track, and while I do believe Red Dead Online is going to have some awesome DLCs in 2019, it's not going to take up as much time as releasing the game in 2018. So as for my wish list, two things I want to start off with are actually some items I had in my 2018 wish list because they never were added into the game. And I'm going to push for these two things until the day I die or until one Rockstar adds them into the game because I think they would be awesome. And if you do want to see any of the things I mentioned in the game, then please drop the video like, share it with Rockstar, share it with your friends, more people that see these sort of videos, the more likely that it gets added into the game and the first thing i want to talk about is a police dlc how many times do we have to ask for this i know there's been so many reports that the people at rockstar don't ever want there to be a police dlc because gta by its nature is a crime game and being a cop goes against that but that argument is so flawed with all the stuff they've put in the game you can be like a military guy owning a hangar in the military base. You know, you can dress up like military and those obviously are good guys. So I, I just think the uh, the whole, you can't be a cop because you're technically a bad guy. Just, it doesn't make a lot of sense, all right? A police DLC would be so much fun. There's a ton of different things they can do. They could have a new property that you have to purchase. That's a police station or that's like your, your main police area where you have to go and maybe get jobs from they could add a ton of new vehicles they could make so many of the sports and supercars in the game a police version which wouldn't require too much work so you would think that's something they like they don't you know want to work as hard make some police versions of the cars we already have we have like 500 something cars in the game so give us some police versions there's a ton of different cool features that they could add. You could team up with some cops, like MPC cops. You could, you know, maybe call in a helicopter to get some information on people. Like, on people. You, you know, there's a, a couple of cool things they could do with that. And as for the actual main part of the DLC, they could have it split into two. You could have it more of like the MPC stuff where you're going and finding criminals and bringing them back to like your property or whatever. And they could also have the other side where you're actually dealing with other players. Like if a player has a bounty or if their mental state gets to a certain level, then they appear on your on your mini map and you can go after them and take them in. I don't know how much money you would potentially make from all this stuff, but just having that option in the game would be a ton of fun. So I'm gonna still push for it. I want a police DLC in this game. And if you guys remember way back to the beta of GT Online, they kind of had something like this where you were a police officer or you had the option to choose between a police officer or I think like two or three gangs. And there were the gang territories or the territories in the game where I guess you controlled them if you had that area for a long enough time. I want to see some, some gang territories come back with the police DLC. And then the other DLC I want that I mentioned in 2018 is a better survival DLC. I think there's a real fun aspect to the game that's missing by not putting this in. And I know there's already the survival mode in the game, but it's not that great. They need to expand on that and they could do a ton of stuff. I mean, check out this picture, right? This is like the ultimate survival. You could do this with maybe your friends, up to four friends, and they could, you know, maybe have it limited to certain parts of the map because maybe they can't, like, the limit of NPC spawning, it's not across the entire map. I'm not entirely sure the physical, like, the limitations of the game here. But 
just look at this you got the zombies you got crazy planes falling down you got the bus with all its insane zombie proof things and with the arena the arena mode vehicles the new ones i mean that's kind of already getting to that level right so add all of it into the survival mode whether it's a mode that you have to load into it through the you know through a separate menu or whether it's like a free mode thing i don't know but having a survival mode would be so much fun i definitely want to see that in 2019 and like i said kind of like the police dlc in a way i don't think it require a whole ton of work because a lot of this stuff is already in the game you should just repurpose it now some new things let's talk about some new things i i don't want to get too crazy with the dlcs in 2019 so one of the ones i would like to see starting off the year because normally we have smaller dlcs is some new arena modes and i know the arena mode is is not like super super popular but i think if done right it could be a lot of fun they added all these crazy modes into the game already but i would like to see them go back to the roots to gta san andreas or vice city add in some stunt courses with bikes and you know you have to complete it in a certain time or you have to do better than other people have the the races the uh oh god i can't remember the name the races from vice city where you you basically run into people i know it's kind of in the game but it i don't think it was done right so have have something like that maybe let's not do completely far out there modes like the new rocket league mode i don't think it's very fun it, it it's pretty it's pretty dumb honestly and i i think that's a little too crazy like stick with some more simple stuff and i think a lot of people will have fun with that so i would like to see some new arena modes coming early on this year possibly with new arena vehicles another dlc i would love to see is a c dlc the possibilities are truly endless with a naval or a c dlc here because there's so much room to work with in the sea rockstar could add new islands they could add oil rigs or rigs out in the ocean like this one or like this one. And that would be your base of operations. That would be your new property that you had to buy. And obviously they would add some new, uh, you know, cars and vehicles. They could add some hover boats to the game. Finally, that's, you know, what I want to see. They could add some like a crazy vehicle. That's a combo of the Stromberg and the Deluxo where it can not only fly, but it can go underwater probably cost five million dollars but i'd pay for it don't even need to put guns on it just give us flares and the chafe option and i'm good to go i mean there's a ton of different things they could potentially add on to the yachts if they wanted to in a naval dlc they could add some new ships out there they could add ships like this with cargo on it maybe that you have to board and seal from they could add you know some of the uh the aircraft carriers out there so it's kind of like the the army base where you go to it you get four or five stars on you they could add a ton of other vehicles that go from water to land it's unfortunate there's not enough rivers to cut through the island to have some new boats and stuff but having cars that go from land to water or boats that go from land to water would solve that issue i think unfortunately the gameplay would be kind of similar to most of the other stuff in the game you know you have to you buy your property then you go out you get supplies and you bring it back and you sell it and blah 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 but i just think doing all that stuff out on the ocean would be a ton of fun and then one of the other dlcs that i want to see that i think is somewhat realistic considering it's regarded as one of the best dlcs in the game an import and export part two this could be the December DLC, much like it was the De December DLC a couple years back. This could add so much new stuff to the game. This could add so many new vehicles, a ton of new tuners. Uh, Benny's could come back finally. Could add a ton of Benny's vehicles. They could totally rework some of the missions in the import and export. I mean, one of the main complaints was that you're you're selling these like two million dollar cars, yet you're only getting a hundred grand or eighty grand. So they can maybe tweak that a little bit so you get some more money considering the economy has definitely gone up since that dlc like they could make import and export 
better, a lot better, even though it's so good at the moment, they could improve upon it. And I think a ton of people would like that. And they're not against doing a part two DLC as we've seen a few times in the past. So I think an import and export part two would be amazing in this game. And then some little things kind of wrapping up this video that I would like to see with the arena mode or the arena wars dlc we got those three crazy alien weapons i want to see some more stuff like that some more crazy wacky weapons and bring some of the old school weapons back such as the flamethrower the katana the chainsaw and bring it back with the rampage mode from that red dead redemption 2 collectible knife or hatchet whatever it was that so so those vehicles are not vehicles but so those weapons are actually useful and as for two vehicles that I want to see, I already mentioned it, but the hoverboat. And I want it to be like a legit armored, weaponized hoverboat because that's kind of what you need in GTA at, at the moment. I mean, if you have a regular a regular hoverboat, then it's not going to work because it's going to get blown up in like two seconds with all the crazy stuff in the game. But give me a hoverboat that is weaponized. It's got... So this stealth feature maybe and i would love that and then the other one is a cargo bob mark ii everyone always asks you know what kind of mark ii vehicles you want i think a cargo bob mark ii is needed cargo bob hasn't been updated in so long and the cargo bob mark ii would be awesome having an armored kind of like the avenger an armored helicopter slash plane whatever kind of like the avenger that has the ability to hook things and maybe bigger things this time because I know some vehicles you can't actually hook. And then also having the ability to stash stuff in the back or have other people in, in the back. And this time with weapons or maybe even that stealth feature. I think the Cargo Bob Mark II would be awesome. But that is my 2019 wish list for GTA Online. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you want to see in 2019 and... Like I said, if you like any of the things I mentioned, hit that like button and share it with Rockstar. Thank you all for watching, though. It's going to do it for this video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. But as always, I will see you guys in the next one.